Hero from Michael Jackson, 12 year old Shaheen Jafar Goldie. You remember this. There he is. Come on, come on here. How things change for good and bad, huh? It's hard to take it all in. Yeah, it's just been oh, so hot. Really nice to meet you. Hi there. Hi, Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice lungs you got on you. Thank you. Have a seat here. Oh, this is crazy, huh? This is not what you were expecting. No, not really. I mean, this all happened so fast as well, which I think is good in a way because if I actually had time to sit down and think about it, I would just... I think I'd start crying. It's so amazing how... Did Michael see you on Britain's Got Talent? How did this all happen? Well, you know, I was on Britain's Got Talent, and um, so Michael saw me on YouTube, and... Well, there was a big buzz over here, uh, that's right, that you were this great kid that was going against uh, Susan Boyle, right? Or she was before you? Yeah, she was before me. So um, he watched me on YouTube, and um, so he saw me, and he was going to ask me to perform in his O2 in London in his This Is It concert. And um, I was going to be singing a duet with him, I Feel the World, every single night for 50 days. Oh. That must have flown so you. It was. Um, and um, he was going to be like, um, Kenny Ortega told me he was going to be like passing the torch to me and um, like um, just saying, moving on to the next generation. Oh my gosh, and you're, you're 12? Yeah, so that would have been really amazing. Did you ever get to meet him? I never got to meet him. This would have been my chance. Ah. Oh, so sad. Yeah. Well, in some ways, the torch has been passed because suddenly we all know who you are. And, and uh, th that itself creates uh, a moment that I'm sure that you're, you're happy it's there and you're unhappy it's there. Yeah, I mean, when I sang on Tuesday, it was, it was you know, a brilliant time and it was such a sad time. I mean, it was the atmosphere in that room was really intense. I mean, I couldn't describe how intense it was. And, you know, as soon as I walked onto that stage, I just thought to myself, I'm just going to get it right, and I'm just going to sing for Michael. Were you, right. were, were, you, were you nervous? Or? I mean, whenever I do a performance, I never really get nervous. Mm -hmm. But for this, I was actually quite nervous, which I was shocked by. I think it was just because Michael was in front of me, and the whole family yeah. were there. And they Did you see the family? Did you see the kids? Yeah, I didn't see Paris or any of the other kids, but I saw, you know, Janet and Jermaine, and, you know, they were really nice to me, and they were thanking me for being there, and I was just like, I can't believe they were thanking me. I, I was so happy that they invited me. Uh, it was there. good because uh, Kenny Ortega explained to everyone mm -hmm. where you fit in there, and that yeah. really helped too as that well. Was, that was amazing. I mean, I just went to walk off, and... He went, come here, and I went, and I turned around, <laughs> and I was just thinking, hey, is this really happening to me? You're a Welshman, right? Yeah. Where are you from, Cardiff? Where are you from? I'm from Swansea. You know? From Swansea, okay. Because yeah. um, this whole thing is reminding me of what Smokey Robinson said when Michael sang that song, and he said, that kid's not 10. I, I can't right. believe you're 12. You're yeah. so mature. Oh, thank you. And, and Welsh, uh, we have a lot of Welsh performers, you know, and a lot of very famous actors. And Richard people. Burton. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A big one. There's a guy named Tom Jones. Tom Jones. Uh, Tom yeah. Jones, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good. Catherine so, Zeta pretty Jones. Mm -hmm. Catherine Zeta Jones. Not, 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 not bad. And what's his name? Sir, uh, you know, <laughs> Sir Anthony. The, yeah, Sir Anthony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they've done very well over here. So, Christian Bale, too. <laughs> so you're 12 years old. We're asking a lot of questions here. But, you know, you have a career. You have a great talent. Steve wants to know, do you have a girlfriend? No, no, no. Simon, <laughs> Simon Cowell is involved in your life and career. Is that correct? He, well, he, if it wasn't for Simon Cowell or Brent's Got Talent, I wouldn't be sitting here today. So for them, I'm really thankful and, and grateful. And, and How did that happen? Well, basically, it's just open to anybody. You sign mm -hmm. an application form, and you, you turn up, and, you know, you just show them what you've got. And for me, I got lucky, and you it's know, amazing. Simon Cowell said to me, we were talking on the lot of American Idol, and I was going off about this um, Susan Boyle, and he said, where do you see this little boy? who's like Michael Jackson. I remember him saying that, and he said he's going to be the next big thing, and look at you. What's next for you? We haven't got a clue at the moment. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, going back, I'm going back to Wales tomorrow, and um, so I'm going to go back to school and enjoy the last week. Um, oh, school? Yeah, I was watching you say you love school, and, I actually you, and do. you want to have like a regular normal life as it's well. Nice, it's nice to go from one extreme to the other, because 
it, it gives me a bit of both. And I like to be able to do all this and then go back to school and just be normal. Do you think you can be? You think the kids will just treat you normal there? They're not too I impressed? went back. I mean, once I did, you know, the live shows on Burns Go Town, I went back for a week and then I went on the tour. And, and I, when I went back for a week, I just fit it in. And I oh. love I loved being able to go back <coughs> and just be a normal again yeah, and so so. my friends. Well, but what do the kids think about you performing? With Michael Jackson, you were going to be there. Find out. Well, I don't have a clue at the moment. <laughs> He'll find out when he goes back. I went back for a week and then I went straight on the Britain's Got Talent tour. And I found out on Friday that I was going to be performing at the memorial. So I went, so the last show of the tour was on Sunday. So I flew on Monday morning. I went straight to rehearsals. I, um, and then I did the thing on Tuesday. And, you know, it's just, here I am, really. It's amazing. And when were the concerts supposed to start with Michael? Monday? I think so, yeah. yeah. It's just. And now do you go, you're going to go back to Wales or you're going to stay here or what? Well, tomorrow I go back to Wales. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm going to go back to school. And, you know, we've got nothing happening at the moment. So I just can't wait to see what's going to happen in the Is future. Is Simon uh, going to record? Not at the moment. We haven't got nothing. I haven't got a deal. I haven't I got anything. I have a feeling something will happen. Yeah, well, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, listen, uh, you're 12 years old. All of this. A, a, a 50 year old could have a hard time handling everything mm, that's happening. Even an 80 year old. <laughs> Even an 80 year old. Uh, you seem to be doing okay, but when you're not on camera and you're not in public, what's going on in your mind? Um, basically, it was on my mind right here. I mean, just I'm just shocked, to be honest, mm. and it's just all happened so sudden, and it's it's just amazing to think just how lucky I am. I mean, it's, it's got to be even more, it's got to be weird for me as well because I've gone from just being normal to all of a sudden to the biggest extreme mm -hmm. and yeah. I feel so lucky and nobody could ever imagine. And you grew up idolizing Michael Jackson and then to be standing in front of him at his coffin had to be very hard. Even for it was really hard. I mean, um, I grew up listening to Michael Jackson. My mom always played him in the car. I mean, Motown was always a big part of my life. Hmm. I think that's how what got me into more interest in music and then singing and, you know, it's just... It's just so amazing how everything's fallen into place. Well, Shaheen, we wish you luck in Thank career, you but much. more so in life, okay? Thank you very much. Shaheen Zafargoli. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to say. How close did he get? It's going to sound like Bob Cut. Smith. In a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's said so often now. Yeah. All right. Thank you for being with us.